Hello everyone. Hope you are doing great. Welcome to Science and Tech series with Dr. Vivek Rana. Topic for today's discussion is from computers and IT section. China has claimed quantum supremacy, a term which we are going to see more often from now on because from last two years there is a building debate between quantum supremacy versus quantum winter so we'll be decoding that why china has made this claim what is the genesis of quantum computing how it is different from the classical computing so it's an important topic from both pre and mains point of view as the two uh, 12 nations compete in race to achieve the quantum supremacy so topic for today's discussion is going to be juzam juzam is making headlines for all the right reasons for china So first of all, let's just uh, brush up the basics about what this is. Do I? It's a Chinese name. A lot of you might be confused. You have heard the Tianhe, Tiahu Light, Tianhe Two series, or the recent Dongfang. So these are some of the missiles or the spacecraft, or you could say the supercomputers which have just named. So this one is a quantum computer. This is the first ever, you could say, the quantum computer. of china which has achieved what cannot be achieved by the most powerful supercomputers it is named after 2000 year old math text in chinese so that to draw a symbolic uh, reference because it is going to do some of the most complex uh, calculations in record breaking time so it's an idle name to uh, give it is based this model is based on quite different from the google's you could say the saika mode which grabbed headlines last year it is based on photon so the photonic quantum modeling is the model which china is going to pursue because it's comparatively more stable than the the one pursued by the google so it's uh, you can even though the quantum computing still continues to be nascent state it is the experimental phases let's see which one suits better for the world. so the achievement why we are covering this is and why this quantum supremacy term is being used is because this quantum computer has uh, solved or you could say a, a complex problem which goes by names of gaussian Boson sampling. It detected 76 photons in that particular difficult calculation, and you have to understand that calculation would take almost uh, 100. It has calculated 100 trillion times faster than the most fastest supercomputer. And you, if we compare to the Google Sycamore, it uh, it's uh, almost 10 billion times faster. So it's an incredible feat. It solved it in matter of just 200 seconds. You can say in in matter of minutes which would have taken you could say thousands of years to achieve that so it's a remarkable jump and we can say the supercomputers are going to be redundant if this technology comes in to the full optimization so this is why they are saying that we have achieved quantum supremacy and let me decode what exactly is quantum supremacy it refers to a level that a typical machine based on any of these prototypes does something which is almost impractical to be achieved by the conventional computer or the classical non quantum based computers so it achieves a state where you can see there is a paradigm shift where there is a significant breakthrough or you could say mark difference in the way technology is perceived so lot of countries are trying to achieve the quantum advantage or quantum supremacy currently there are just two front runners it's us and china so last year the google sycamore they had these headlines and because it solved a okay, complex calculation which would have taken thousands of years by the fastest supercomputer but now the same limelight is being given to juzan uh, because it is uh, has proved that it is doing what the chinese you could say the third fastest supercomputer sunbe tiahu light was that was the benchmark they had set for, to compare it this calculation with and china is already a lead play it has already sent the first hack proof satellite based on quantum you could say communication it is goes by the name of bcs and also it is building a communication a long communication network based on the same 
technology and that's not it it's also investing almost 100 billion dollars in a national laboratory for quantum information sciences so you can say the china wants to take the lead because this technology is something which can change the future or you they say that almost all the fields right from the bioinformatics to biotechnology or you could say the research they are going to revolutionize when this technology comes into the full picture so uh, if you compare with the classical computer you should at least know that the conventional computers are based on bits which are zero or one but what makes quantum computer different they use the qubits qubits uh, include zero and one and they both can exist at the same time so basically they rely on the principle of superimposition and that's what makes them an interesting thing because they are able to store more data with the less energy compared to the same bits and they can have wide range of applications ranging from the new generation research or you could say the bioinformatics the finance sector data mining is going to be revolutionized and we can have yes there are some concerns that the current security network which are based on the, the conventional computers they might be at risk once such technology comes to full force so let's see because how quantum supremacy establishes and how us responds to this significant development but more or less the technology is going to be on a larger and beneficial to human beings so india is also in fray it has started quest program here in this budget speech we had highlighted that india is also keen to invest but we are still miles away because these countries are already leaving their mark on the quantum supremacy field. so keep following such updates on quantum computing because they can be asked in prelims or mains make sure you have a fair idea of what this new technology is about so i hope this session was useful in some way thank you very much